Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video and another episode of my F1 2019 career mode here today. And this is round number 17, or actually around 18 now, of the season for the Mexican Grand Prix. And if you guys missed round 17, the last episode, then go watch the video guys by clicking the link in the top right hand corner of the screen to go watch the Japanese Grand Prix. But today, we are here at the Circuito Hermanos Rodriguez in Mexico. You can see on screen, we have no chance of rain this weekend in terms of qualifying and the race. There is a chance of it in practice. We are going to have a little bit of it in FP1, but in terms of upgrades, we don't have any on the car this race. We don't have any upgrades planned until Brazil, in which we're going to have a, a, a double major upgrade on the car for the engine power. But Racing Point have pushed on, and they've overtaken us as the top team on the grid. Red Bull now, there's quite a bit of a way for them to keep or the pace of us and Williams in us and Racing Point, sorry, in terms of the development race, but uh, it's still a top three, if you will. Red Bull still are pretty quick around here, but uh, Racing Point do look the team to beat around this circuit, and that pit straight with their engine power is a, is, a, is a big, big advantage to them, and they're so, so quick around this circuit, but practice was overall a pretty good success, and uh, we're now going to move into qualifying. Hopefully, it's a decent session for us. I've heard rumours that you're interested in moving to this team. Is there any truth to that? How does your car stack up to the others in the wet? Is it competitive? Appreciate your time. So the rumours already in full flow as, uh, you know, we have announced that we are going to leave Williams at the end of the season and uh, move to a new team. What team will it be? Who knows? I did do a video a couple of days ago, guys. If you have missed it, it'll be linked in the top right hand corner of the screen where you guys can vote for my team for season four. If you want to go do that, then by all means do so. I'd greatly appreciate it. But um, there, there, there's, a, there's a clear favourite at the minute. Rumours going around saying Toro also could be the team. But based off of the, uh, the poll that you guys voted in, it's looking like one team is uh, going to be the one where we go to. But moving to qualifying here today at Mexico, I'm kind of looking forward to it because... We haven't had a good one of races, you know, Russia and Japan were two of the three last chances I'm going to have to score some big points because USA, Brazil and Abu Dhabi aren't great tracks for me and this track is the last one I'm going to get to potentially win a race this season to be honest and really have the, the edge on the AI really and you know, have that chance to really make a difference because so far in Sochi we had a really bad qualifying, we started outside the top 10 and we didn't quite make up for it in the race, so we only finished, I believe, 8th or 7th in that race. And in, in the Japanese Grand Prix last time, we had a really bad session, and the race was miserable because of contact we had with Pierre Gasly at Turn 1. So we haven't capitalised on the last few races, and as a consequence, Verstappen has cut the gap down from 50 points down to, I believe, 21. So Verstappen's pushing on here, and he's trying to catch us in the championship. And moving to Q1, you can see our first lap isn't great. Only 6 tenths off the pace, but we're only 15. So I went out again, but unlike on other sessions... I actually went out on the exact same tyres I did my first lap on because I knew there was more time to find and the field was so, so close. Like within a tenth of a second, there was like five or six cars. So all I had to do was just improve on the lap and keep it nice and tidy and, you know, make sure we didn't make any mistakes. And I'd probably gain about four or five places. And you can see the checker flag has dropped. So all we've got to do is improve. Currently, we are P15 and nobody else has actually improved behind us. Therefore, we are setting the Q2 as it stands as we improve by a fraction through sector one. And uh, again, sector two, finding a bit more time through here, which is where I made a mistake last time. And we're about a tenth up as we lock up into the hairpin, but we get a good exit. And all we've got to do now is pretty much hold this advantage, to be honest. And this would be a big improvement for us in terms of our position. So all we've got to do is hold on as we go through the S's now in sector two. And so far, we are still 15, so nobody's improving, surprisingly. And we are currently still on for a Q2 appearance. We go even quicker though in sector two, tenth and a half up as we go into the final sector now, the baseball stadium. Running a bit wide there, but just about keeping it on track limits as we go into the hairpin. Losing a bit of time, actually, and I threw away most of my advantage, unfortunately, for us. And we are going to improve by about half a tenth to maybe three quarters of a tenth. But it's still going to be an improvement nonetheless. And we actually jump up to P13 and nobody else improves, surprisingly. So we get ourselves into Q2 with 13th place. Only six tenths off the pace. Giovinazzi in P4. They're only two tenths off of Max Verstappen. But uh, overall, a decent Q1. We survived the, uh, the usual AR strong pace in Q1 as we move now into Q2. And we're going to go for two runs in this session. We have, you know, complete uh, available tyres to us because we managed to get through with just one set of tyres in Q1, reusing the, the first set. Unfortunately for us in Q2, my first lap was okay, but I got an invalidation going into the stadium section. So we had to go out again, and it's all or nothing, to be honest, on this one lap because the last one didn't count. So we've got to try and improve. We've got the Delta as a reference in the top right-hand corner to see if we're going for a good lap or a bad lap. So let's see 
how we get on as we go down towards turn one, looking at the 50 meter board as your reference to start braking. And we run a bit hot on the brakes, run a little bit deep and miss the apex slightly, but we managed to recover and get the car back online for two and three. And we're just a fraction down through the first sector as we now race down towards the next heavy brake zone at turn four, braking at the 100 meter board as your reference here. You still get then down to second to open up the right hander of turn five. It's all about letting the car use its mechanical grip through here and let it just flow through this entire section. Currently, P15, of course, we haven't got a lap, so we need to try and get off the bottom here. And the checker flag is about to drop as we go into the S section through here. This is all about, you know, if you've got a good car, you'll know it because the car really works through here. And my car was working fantastically well. I was the strongest car all weekend through sector two, and the Williams was working really, really nicely. And less than a tenth off Perez here through the second sector. It's looking like a strong lap as we come into the final sector, into the baseball stadium, keeping it nice and tidy through here. This time, no validations on the lap in itself. And one more corner to go. Let's just throw the car in and try and get the power down as soon as we can. Keep it to the right-hand side for the shortest run to the line. And that is a lap of Mexico. And it gets us out of the relegation zone or the knockout zone. And we jump up to the top six, I believe. And there you go. So overall, a decent lap. And Giovinazzi actually got knocked out at P11. He didn't go as fast as Q1. And uh, he got knocked out, unfortunately, here today. So disappointing for him but we get ourselves into the final part of qualifying there in sixth place and i felt pretty happy to be honest we've got two sets of tires in q3 once again and uh, my first up wasn't great because we cut that right hander there unfortunately for us and uh, yeah it, it threw away our first attempt it wasn't a spectacular lap anyway though so I, I know there's more time to find but again it's down to the one lap wonder if you will i've got only one chance at this and we can't make any mistakes otherwise we're going to start from 10th place i'm going to leave you guys with the lap as you guys seem to like it and i'll come back to you with the qualifying results. And there we go. There's the lap at Q3. And overall, a decent one, to be honest with you. My quickest lap of the weekend. I saved it until the end when it mattered the most. In hindsight, I wish I could have just snatched fourth from Lando Norris, who got a fantastic lap there in the house. But other than that, it's a decent qualifying. And we are going to start on the third row. But hopefully, we can try and get the jump on a few guys on the start and try and turn it around. But with that being said, that is ever qualifying. We're now going to move into the race for the Mexican Grand Prix. The air may be thin here in Mexico City. The atmosphere is anything but. The crowd have been chanting and singing, not just this afternoon, but throughout the entire weekend. There's a great love for Formula One here and no small amount of expectation. Let's hope today's Grand Prix can meet it. At 2,285 meters above sea level, the thin air of the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez poses a unique challenge not just to a driver's skill, but to the efficiency of their engines as well. 17 corners make up a lap of this 2.6 mile circuit, and you can expect incredible speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour, and overtaking two into the hard braking zones of turns one and turn four. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today? And how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. It's Sergio Perez on pole position today, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Magnussen, 
Norris, Martinez, and Leclerc. Russell, Gasly, Bottas, and Sebastian Vettel. Jovanadze, Sainz, Lewis Hamilton, and Ricardo. Grosjean, Holkenberg, Kimi Raikkonen, and Daniel Kvyat. Stroll, and Alexander Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. And now, it's time to head down to the track. Right, here we are then on the grid for the Mexican Grand Prix. Starting from P5 on the grid, surprisingly, Lando Norris got alongside us there in fourth place. Very good qualifying from him in the Haas. And then we're behind the usual suspects of the Racing Points and Red Bull. So hopefully we can get a good start. If we can, we can try and get a nice drag down towards Turn 1 and possibly make a move on one of the cars in front. It would be tricky, but it is doable. So hopefully we can make it happen. And I feel confident that we can get a good result. I think strategy will play a key part in this race. You're going to have one, two, or even three stoppers I think in this race depending on what tyres they go for us personally we're going to go for the two stop we have two fresh sets of medium tyres which we're going to use later on in the Grand Prix but uh, for now it's all about trying to get past the first stint trying to not overheat the tyres and go to those mediums in a good position fuel wise we're running the lowest possible fuel as well and we're still 1.1 laps over over class conditions to start with which will hopefully help us out in terms of overheating and keeping the track temperatures a bit lower but overall the important thing here is to get a good launch down towards turn one and try and get a couple of positions so let's jump into it let's try and have a good race and fingers crossed we can try and outscore Max Verstappen it's time for the Mexican Grand Prix right here we go let's try and get a good start here as we build up the revs and get ready for the five red lights lights out and away we go it's a good start from us bit of wheel spin in the second phase unfortunately but we get away pretty damn well we're going to just try and stay in the slipstream of the cars in front here I've got multiple cars behind me trying to look for a move Lando comes across, but we're going to go all the way around the outside at turn one and take the position from Norris there. Magnussen and Verstappen go side by side. Let's try and get involved. Hopefully, Magnussen can get in front of the red ball. That would be ideal for us as we go towards the next break zone. Magnussen and Verstappen side by side. Perez pulling away, but that's fine. We, we can put up with that. That's not a problem. Look at these two still going side by side here. I'm trying to see if I can find a space to make a move. It looks like Magnussen might have just got the measure of Verstappen here if he can commit to the inside. Looks like he has and he's made it work. So there we go. That's good news for us. We're directly behind our championship rival. If we can try and get a run of Verstappen, possibly here we can go for the move. Looks like Verstappen's going to get a nice toe though on Magnussen. Side by side again. He's going to back off. They're going to run out of track, I think. Verstappen trying to look for the move. I'm trying to go on the outside of him here at the hairpin, but it doesn't quite work out. But he's offline. He's going defensive. He's trying to defend from me. That's going to put Verstappen in trouble. We get a good exit. Here we go. This is my chance. I've got to try and take this. No DRS, but have we got enough on the straights to get past? I think we might. Verstappen doesn't have the toe on Magnussen that much. Here we go. We're slowly gaining on the red ball. Bit by bit, we're going to go to the inside and try and get past. Late on the brakes. Verstappen pretty late as well, but we are going to go down the inside. Verstappen's still there, but we go around the outside. And we make the move. I'm really out of line though. And I've got no momentum on the exit of the corner. So here comes Max again to the outside. This is a championship battle here. This is really, really important. On the brakes, down the inside. Verstappen's still trying to hang it in there. He's still on the inside. I'm going to leave him some room, of course. But we do get the position. And we make it up to third place. Absolutely critical overtake there. And it's now in my hands to try and control this race. Let's see if we can pick up the pace and try and catch up to Magnussen. Because DRS will be enabled on the next lap and Verstappen might try and get back past me very quickly so let's push on use the clean air and try and open up a gap I've got good pace here Verstappen is just hanging on to me because of DRS but I'm actually pulling away very strong lap there 15.3 we're gaining on Magnussen as well which is good but the crucial thing is Verstappen isn't close enough for a move with DRS which is exactly what we want so this is working out beautifully for us let's try and keep doing this hopefully the tyres can hold on oh something's happened behind us so that might be an incident, possibly. Just struggling to get within a second. Bottas out of the Grand Prix. Seems like there's no VSC from that, so we'll continue on. Verstappen's turned his engine up, so he's going to be on the back of me here. Here he comes. He's got a lot of momentum. I was trying to get within a second of Magnussen, but I couldn't quite make it. And here comes Max. He's coming back at us now, unfortunately, with DRS. We can't really do much about it. Let's just try and follow him. I think I've got the pace to keep up with him, so it shouldn't be an issue. And we can return the favour. But so we need to get past Magnussen. That second place is precious to both of us. As Verstappen picks up the double DRS, let's keep pushing. The 
Verstappen setting the pace, 15-0. Of course, he had DRS assistance on that lap and he was absolutely flying. I'm happy to sit here though, I can definitely follow him, I've got the pace. So I can just sit behind and uh, use the DRS. Gives me a chance to save some fuel as well. So this is good. I feel confident, if it's been a while since I've done a race where I know I've got the pace advantage so I can be confident and uh, you know measure my overtakes, which is good, which is what I like to do. So yeah, so far I'm liking this. I'm turning my engine up here to see if I can get a slingshot and try and get past Verstappen to get Magnussen. We're gaining here. Around the outside we're going to go. I'm going to return the favour. Easy move around the outside, pinch him into the apex. And we get DRS on the next straight, which I need to use. And I keep turning the engine up to try and push on here. We're getting near to the pit stop window as well, so we've got to bear that in mind. But let's try and push on this lap. Try and get, cut that gap to Magnussen a bit. The racing points, though, seem pretty untouchable today. It's normally unanimous when even Magnussen looks quick. That's a telltale sign because Perez's AI is very strong, but he's not that far away, to be fair. So the race can still be on, depending on strategies. I didn't get the RS on Magnussen, but the gap has definitely come down this lap. Personal best ourselves. Strong lap. Gap now 1.4. It's almost like me and Verstappen have to actually work together to get Magnussen here, but the pace is good. Soft tire is working really, really well, which I'm happy about. Some information on Gasly. They seem to have an issue. Okay, Pierre Gasly in the Alfa Romeo then with car issues. Just getting some oversteer there on the exit. We're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. Yep, we're gonna, we're gonna push on this one. We wanna make sure we stay in front of Verstappen now for these pit stops. Not sure what strategy everybody's on, but hopefully ours works the best. Verstappen's flying here up to the back of me, but it's not gonna be enough. He's gonna run out straight. I'm starting to get close to Magnussen. That was one second off through the second sector. I think I could be if I stayed up one more lap, but we're gonna pit in and try and maybe even undercut Magnussen, especially if Perez pits this lap. So let's push on into the baseball stadium. We're gonna pit this lap and uh, I'm presuming we're going to follow Perez into the pit lane, along with Verstappen, possibly. Box this lap, please. Looks like they're all staying out, actually. I'm the only one that's going to pit, so... Maybe they're going to try and one-stop, possibly? Looks like no one's pitting at the minute. It's just me, so uh, this could be interesting. I might have to fight my way through traffic on a two-stop strategy. Let's find out. But here we go, into the pit box. Go, go now. Two-second stop, not the best one. Definitely not the best one. We're going to drop quite a way down the order, but hopefully we can get clean air. We'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in our strategy. We should rejoin just in front of Alex Albon, so we do have a bit of clean air to work with. The cars in front are on soft tyres, so they should be pitting in soon. I did get offered a strategy change on lap 13 to go for the hard tyre and basically one stop the race, but I just don't feel like that's the best option. Traditionally for me around here, the two stop has always been the quicker strategy, so... We're going to commit to the two-stopper. I've always gone for that and it's always worked. So hopefully it pays off. And these medium tyres are a good race tyre. Fingers crossed as well. Okay, a few cars pit in. So we are going to gain a few places. A purple middle sector though. Good pace straight away. I'm going to try and save the fuel in the RS that I have for when I really need it. I think we've got enough pace in standard engine mode to push. And as we move up to 13th place now. A few more cars pit in, including a Red Bull. Pretty good lap there in standard engine mode. Looks like it's George Russell that's pit in. Yes, it is. Onto medium tyres. We're coming out a bit of traffic now. I can't leave these guys in front of pit so that we don't get held up because we are going to hit them at the end of this lap. Okay, it's Pierre Gasly in front of us who is clearly struggling with car trouble in the Alfa Romeo, as, as you guys know, as you heard on the radio. We're going to just go around the outside and breeze past. Waste no time there. Picking up a corner cut, but that's fine. We'll move on. I should be okay in this race. I'm not too concerned about those. I've got the S's on lockdown. And uh, now we're going to see how many of these guys in front pit in, including my teammate Giovinazzi, who is on mediums. So he's probably going to stay out, so we're going to have to overtake him on track. But let's see if this Toro also pits. No, it doesn't. Right, so we're going to have to overtake on track. We pretty much burned off our excess fuel. We'll be back on target soon. Don't wait too long to turn the engine down. There's Verstappen on the hard tyres. We're going to just about get in front using full engine power, but he's in the hard tyre. So he's going to the end, so we've got to try and make up a pit stops gap to the Red Bull driver. So hopefully we can use people like Giovinazzi to uh, hopefully hold up Verstappen behind us and other medium tyre runners as well. So uh, that's the target. We need to try and beat Max. Seems like no racing point is pit in yet from what I can tell. Yeah, no, There's one up the road I can just see. Looks like that could be Perez. So let's push because Magnussen might be in soon but I've got traffic so I've got to get past these guys. 
got so much more grip than Kafiat here. I'm gonna set up the switch back. Let's see if we can get him into the stadium section possibly. I'm gonna go to the outside. Kafiat's quite late on the brakes though, so I can't go for it. This isn't ideal. We're gonna get boxed in. Verstappen looking for the move behind as well, so we need to get past. Hopefully Kafiat will pit surely. No, he doesn't, he stays out. But the Renault does pit in, along with a few other cars. Here we go, let's try and get past Danny Kafiat. There's the racing point of I believe Magnussen leaving the pit lane as we get a nice tow from Kafiat who has DRS himself. That racing point of Magnussen has rejoined behind my teammate, which is ideal. We're gonna try and get in his gearbox straight away. Magnussen won't have the RS either, so we can maybe get past him here. He's going to attack Giovinazzi. Let's be careful. Come on, Gio, hold on, Sunshine. If not, we'll just slip through on the inside. We'll follow him through. There we go. Job done. Let's stay on the back of Magnussen here. Perez in front in the lead. All right, let's get past Magnussen here. I need a strong lap. Turn the engine up. Let's give it some. That racing point is so fast on the straight. You can just see visually how he pulls away so much. We might even struggle to catch him here before turn one. Come on, Williams. You can do this. Here we go. We're gaining on him. Come on. Around the outside, we're going to go. I've got more grip on the mediums. We're going to just sail past around the outside. Inside for the next corner. There we go. Job done. And away we go. Let's push on here. I need to have a couple of strong laps now and try and get the back of Perez if I can. That would be ideal for us. Strong lap, personal best 15.1. That's a tenth of a second off the far side of the Grand Prix. And we've dropped Magnussen out of the RS range as well, which is good. Ooh, Gasly out in the Alfa Romeo. Second retirement of the Grand Prix. So Giovinazzi pits in, that's released Verstappen into fourth place, but Verstappen has George Russell all over the back of him in the medium tyre of Red, uh, Red Bull for company. So looks like Verstappen's race isn't going 100% smoothly so far, which is what we want. Hopefully there's a bit more of that, and cars behind try to get past, because we need him to lose more time. Medium tyres are slowly fading every single lap, but I'm still chipping away at Perez's lead and trying to claw into that gap. If I could just get within a second and get DRS, that would really help me out. We're pulling away from Verstappen though, we're pulling away from Magnussen, which is good. So let's just keep doing our thing here and uh, try and get after Perez. I'm also trying to save fuel at the same time by running Lee Mick, so the pace overall is actually pretty strong. Gap 1.002, I'm being relentless here, I'm trying so hard, even on these tyres now, which are starting to wear out a bit. I'm trying to get within the RS range of Perez, that would really help me out in terms of improving my pace. And just hanging on for these last three laps in this tyre. I think I'm off done enough here, I've got a feeling I might be within a second. Are we? No, we're not. Not quite. We're going to box in lap 24, so I'm going to push a little bit here and give it my last bit, see if I can get the RS on the next lap. But the gap is increasing behind to Verstappen and Magnussen. Okay, I'm close enough this time. I think I've done the job. Let's turn the engine up. Let's find out. Pit window open. Let's box this lap. Job done. Let's turn the engine up and let's give it some on this straight, see if we can catch up a little bit and gain some extra uh, kilometers an hour on a straight. But this is good. Okay, remember to pit this lap. Yeah, we're gonna box in. It's a shame I don't have a fresh soft tire, because if I had a fresh soft, I'd probably pit for that tire right now, but I don't. So we're gonna have a medium, but we are gonna get to at least maximize every single lap on that medium tire. So here we go. Into the pit lane we go. Very important stop this, let's not mess it up. There we go. That was a mammoth stint. We're snapping the rule be in front of us, but it looks like George Russell's pretty close to him as well. But let's see where we rejoin exactly and uh, how much of a how much of a gap we got to make up in this final stint go, go, go. two seconds flat once again let's see if we can rejoin this clean air turn the engine up pit strategy complete see these tires through to the end now right there we go clean air and we've got DRS as well so we're going to get on both straight so we can push straight away here right Verstappen is quite far ahead we've got a lot of work to do but hopefully we can pull it off and uh, Verstappen's hard tyre fades a bit. Head down. Let's give it some. Okay, we're going to push now. We're going to try and go for the first half of the Grand Prix. Let's get after it. 
6.6 is the gap to Verstappen. It's come down two seconds on this lap alone already. Let's give it some. Russell Pitts. Probably for soft tyres. Fast up at the Grand Prix, 14.4. But if Russell's on softs, he might beat that. So we might be missing out on a crucial World Championship point. By the way, we're going to keep pushing. Another good lap there, purple final sector. Matching my fastest lap at the Grand Prix. The good news is Russell has rejoined a bit of traffic. So it might not be as easy for him to set that fast up at the Grand Prix. We're gaining about a second and a half lap of Verstappen. There we go, even quicker, 14.3. Gap down to 2.7. I think we are going to catch him. But I want to get within DRS before I start to save up fuel in DRS so I can charge past. And there it goes, 13.8 from Russell. I was hoping to hold on to that. I thought I'd done enough. And Russell being in traffic, it might have just cost him. But he must have got DRS on that lap because that's a very quick lap. By the way, we're getting close to Verstappen now though. 1.7 the gap, but it was a 1.3 across the line. We always lose in the first sector due to lack of engine speed. Here we go then, we're within range. I'm going to have a couple of laps, maybe one or two laps, where I save some fuel in the RS. So that when I make the pass, I can keep the car and engine turned up so I can pull away. So that he doesn't stay within a second and uh, re-overtake me. So we're just going to have a couple of laps here where we sit behind and charge everything up. Because I've used it all trying to catch him. Okay, we're going to try and go for the pass here. I'm going to try as well one more time to go for the fastest lap. I could achieve it. I am looking at a 13.6 to be honest, which is quite steep. But with DRS, it could be possible. So it's important to get a good one out of here though. And make sure I get ahead of a stapper before the break zone of the first corner. That's important. Here we go, we're gaining off a stapper then. Let's make this move count. We're going to go around the outside. On the brakes, we're snapping on the inside line, but there's no way he's going to hang that around the outside with me there. Oh, that's quite a bit of oversteer, that's not going to help. We are going to stay in front though, but can we pull away? Important times in this race. Personal best, it won't be a purple lap, a 14-0, but we've pulled out the RS range of a snap and 1.7. Magnuson 3.8 up the road, I think he's too far away, so it's looking like a P3 for us, but the good thing is we've outscored the snap which is critical. Here we go then, through the stadium section. The confetti goes up for Sergio Perez, the home hero who wins here today at Mexico. Magnussen in second, making it a 1-2 for racing point. And we come home in third, beating Max Verstappen for the final step on the podium. And that is a better race from us. Well done, good finish. You stepped up and achieved what we asked. Good job. A victory for racing point. And the team will certainly be celebrating tonight. Talk to me, Ants. What was it that set them apart from the competition today? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Racing Point's performance today has shown that they can be competitive with the veterans of the sport. They're making their way out to the podium now as we speak and the reaction from the crowd must be incredibly uplifting for them. Right, so looking at the final race results, Sergio Perez wins ahead of Kevin Magnussen and us in third, running off the podium. Max Verstappen, P4, a disappointing race for him and a big one for the championship. George Russell, P5 in the second, Red Bull as well. Those two teams doing very, very well. As Giovinazzi, my teammate, misses out on the point, so we're well and truly out of the running for the Constructors' Championship, unfortunately. Charlotte Leclerc, P6, Carlos Sainz, P7 ahead of Lando Norris. Then we've got Kimi Raikkonen and Sebastian Vettel running out the top 10. And like I mentioned, Giovinazzi missing out the points, along with Kvyat, Hulkenberg, Al Bon, Grosjean, Stroll, Hamilton and Ricardo, with Gasly and Bottas retiring today from the Grand Prix. But in terms of what that means for the driver standings, we are 24 points clear with three races remaining. So on paper, if I finish second in every race and Verstappen finishes first in every race with a fast lap in every single one, we will finish the season equal on points. But I think I'll win it on races one, I believe. So 
that's good for us. It means it's in our hands, without a doubt. So overall, very, very encouraging signs. We now go to three tracks which don't suit me. So I'm fully expecting Verstappen to win those three. And at best, I can get a second place. Hence why I'm relying on the upgrades at Brazil to do a big, big difference to our car and hopefully improve it for the last two rounds. And the next one's going to be all about damage limitation. But in terms of the Constructors' Championship, we're in third, 63 points behind Red Bull. And it's looking like a two-way battle now between Red Bull and also Racing Point, to be honest, at this point. So uh, no pun intended. We'll see how that one progresses. If we can have a strong race next time out, I'd love it. But I'm um, not so confident as USA has never been a happy hunting ground for me. But guys, that is going to be it for this episode of Career Mode here today. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like on the video and also get subscribed if you are new for daily Formula 1 content. And also turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos from me. And also finally check out these two videos on your screen, guys, if you have missed them. But other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next episode very soon. But until then, it's goodbye from me.